Why Merchant from UFIS Real Estate, selling real estate born, bred and passionate. Finish the season off the way we did. It's really encouraging. I think we showed ourselves, you know, how to how to beat them, how to score against them. Show, show the rest of the league what we can do. I think I've got to sort how we how we can um, build a game plan to beat them. It's finals time. Get your game face on. 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 A couple of guys were a bit late, but they weren't that far away from Sereno, Lee Pahoki and James Hallahan. Now James, you also had a change of coach at the start of the year. That obviously proved to be a seamless transition. Were you a bit worried going into the start of the year that it might affect the way the team played? Wasn't worried to start, but you know, after round one, I think we got back by 70 points of the questions asked from everyone. Um, coach and the players, committee, but look the way we rallied around Tappy and Obviously, the results we've had since have proved it's a pretty good decision. Do you think that you'll be playing against Bowie Henry on the weekend? No idea. It's for them to decide. It's got nothing to do with us. I mean, it is a bit of a disruption for the grand final, is it not? Not for us. Definitely not. But do you think that Luke Tapscott has justification to take it to the tribunal? And why do you think he has justification? I'll ask the question a bit. In, in, in a more simplistic way, I mean, obviously you do because you support your coach, but why do you think he deserves to be justified for taking this to the tribunal? Who makes blokes in? I think it was on the radio, mate. If you were watching the TV, it was clearly replayed two or three times and stated. Let's just concentrate on, on those on the uh, panel. Thanks, Mark. We'll come back to it later. But... Do you yeah. want to come up? <laughs> just, uh, just answer the question. Uh, well, it was on the radio, the league had full view, view knowledge of it, um, independent investigator, so I'm not sure what, uh, what we can do. We've probably just got to be better using the ball and could get it on the outside. Uh, Mornington, small deck, their pressure was able to bottle us up. Um, there was a bit of a breeze as well, so we don't know what we're going to get Sunday in terms of conditions, but I think that we, we've just got to play our game, get it on the outside. Lee, tell us what happened at three quarter time uh, in your slight confrontation, <laughs> I'll say slight confrontation, which Coach caught on camera with the runner of Mount Eliza. Was that just the typical Lee Bahoki theatre that you like to leave to the game? Which is great for the game, mind you. No, he was just asking what I was doing after the game. I told him <laughs> we'd go back down have a beer and I asked him what he was going to do and he said the same thing. So. What about Guy Henry when you sort of ran into each other getting closer to the Sorrento Hunger? He said I've got a very good haircut. Um, and he's actually upset me going on the same thing. With you guys too, I thought the all back line on the weekend was absolutely sensational. They had um, Harris, Potter, Mast and Brigden down there. Brigado was fantastic. That's going to be huge this week because I think the Ford's got on top a little bit in that semi at Mornington, but they seem to relish the space as well down there, especially uh, Brigo and um, and Harris. They really look like they love to get that. If you can get that going, because you've got two big Fords to shut down, you get that going, uh, I reckon you're a long way on the way to winning it. Yeah, that's what I think. I think it's sort of a game of two halfbacks because we really rate Pines as halfbacks and the way they can drop off, run, intercept Mark. And I think that's an unheralded part to our team. You know, people look at our big forwards and our mids, but our backs are just, yeah, they, they week in, week out, they'll probably poll, you know, five of them will be in the top ten in our BNF. And that's, I guess, where we've won a lot of our games. And what are you kicked for last week? You perform when you have to perform. Who do you expect to get this week? Will be your opponent? I would presume the boat, but kept you pretty quiet at point to <laughs> you know, a good start of one. I could tell Paddy had a coach, but uh, I reckon that's probably where it's going to go. And James, your team's won a lot of flags in recent times. Um, of course, different division. You're in first division. Getting a chance to prove yourself against the very best teams. What would it mean to you as the captain of the team to hoist the Premiership Cup on Sunday? Yeah, I'd like to probably echo Bongo's statement. Um, premierships are sort of one, I think, for the supporters, the people who put in, the volunteers, everything like that, who do everything for no reward. And their reward is, I guess, to see the 22 blokes run out, take the field, and you know, to see them on the last day in September, win or lose, um, is, is what makes their what makes their year. To come up from Division Two, you know, we were always told we're not good enough. Every time, you know, we win a flag, you know, you're not good enough to compete with these sides. And after round one, we probably almost thought that. 
but here we are last night to Tim, we'll get a chance to prove ourselves. To see a full version of this video and many exclusive chats, never before seen fantastic footage of your club, all the news and views, make sure you click onto the Game Face digital record app.